So apparently I picked up the wrong version of a cartridge for my 16-bit superhero segment this week. Wolverine, Victor Lucas's Rage for the Sega Genesis. And this was published by Acclaim and it was developed by a uh, development studio called Teeny Weenie Cute. I was so angry at this game. I thought the game was like it, trolling me or there might have been like a candid camera type thing or uh, Ashton Kutcher was going to come walking in and punk the crap out of me. This game is infuriating. I can't believe that a claim said, yep, that's good, ship it. I just, honestly, it just drives me crazy. I gotta say that the artists, they did their job. They did a good job creating, you know, a very comic booky in version of Wolverine here with great little cut sequences, animated little cut sequences for that matter. The environmental art and the character art is pretty cool. Wolverine's got a bunch of great hack and slash moves. <laughs> Got the ability to climb the walls. You know, I, I like that idea of sticking my claws in and climbing up walls. That's fun. But the controls are so insufferably bad. It feels like Wolverine's got tiny little ice skates on them, for starters. So just moving sucks everywhere. And there is a snow level, so maybe what they said is, you know, he's going to be slipping and sliding in the snow. Let's just make him slip and slide everywhere. That's a good idea. And that's what you do. So you're constantly overshooting doors. You're overshooting bad guys. You look like you're stumbling. It looks like Wolverine is hammered drunk th through this whole thing. Missing cues for hacking and slashing, jumping and falling into bad guys, but also like mistiming slices and trying to stab, but it's not stabbing properly or trying to kick. And so you'll get these little tiny itty bitty robots or little itty bitty enemies and they'll just devastate you. They'll just bean you all over the, your body. It's like you're hacking at bees or something and you, you can't get them. All the bees are going through your claws. You just feel so inept. This is the Wolverine game that makes you feel like Wolverine is an absolute, you know, terrible klutz, and there's no way this Wolverine would be part of the X-Men, which is ironic because the whole game is about, look, he's such a badass, Logan, that he's going to go off and do this alone. He keeps getting, you know, messages from Professor X and some of the other X-Men, we want to help you. He's like, no, I got this. And then he's like swinging at bees and missing all the bees, and it's, it's just so bad. Oh, my God. The hit detection is terrible. The timing is awful on the strikes and the kicks. The moves are cool, like they're animated well. You can do flying kicks and jump kicks. You can sort of clamber around like an animal and jump and lunge at different bad guys. You press up on the D-pad and eventually Wolverine will slice, but you're gonna end up pressing up on the D-pad to try to jump. I was stuck in certain areas where I was just trying to jump from an area to an area. I was like running and trying to jump and it would be like, jump, oh, and he would just get to the ledge and then jump, oh. Oh, jump oh and it was like for half an hour I was just trying to like make a jump that I had done the first time but then could never replicate you know that kind of frustration that's what this cartridge is that I mean it's so bad it's unbelievable it shocks me that anybody would sign their name to this you know and say yeah that's good enough and it also it really made me realize and appreciate that maybe this era of being able to patch after shipping a game isn't quite as terrible as we all think it is <laughs> because I feel like there's the heart of a really cool game here. I've read that the Super Nintendo game is a different developer so now I'm very curious because I, I love this character, I love his moves, I love his style. You know, it's kind of a crazy yellow costume, though. Like, I don't know how... I, I, I grew up on Batman, all right? He's the, the Dark Knight. He's the sh in the shadows and fighting crime that way. I don't know. Pretty gutsy to wear a bright yellow suit like that, Wolverine. But that's how badass he is, I guess. But I like it. I like the look. I love the color sort of richness of it. I like some... There's some esoteric levels, too, where you fight this guy named Cyber. And I, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was inside of this sort of moonscape and all these little aliens and stuff. And I had those planets with Wolverine's head on them off in the distance. <laughs> I haven't read all of the Wolverine books, just for full disclosure there. I'm still sort of mining my way through all the Marvel stuff, thanks to that uh, Marvel Unlimited app. But I am super passionate about superhero fiction, and I have been loving this foray into 16-bit superheroes, but God, this was such a letdown. I can't describe to you. Like, I paid money for this cartridge, and I just, I wanted to take it out of my, uh, my Mega SG and just snap it in half, you know? Like, I was so angry. I, I, I couldn't believe it. 
So no, I don't recommend that you get this game. And I'm reviewing these games based on how I'm playing them today, not based on any memories I have of these things. I never played this back in the day. Yeah, I would have known better. This is awful. This is one of the worst experiences I've had in this. It, it, this I think I... It didn't like I, I think this was worse than the tick the tick was terrible as well but I think this is worse than that because the controls are so crap oh I'm giving uh, Wolverine adamantium rage Victor Lucas's rage a two out of ten stay the hell away